What's up guys, Mydicus here, the coach for the Boston Beedrills. Welcome to week one of the American Pokemon Association's fifth season. If you followed us last season, you know that we had a really, really rough season. We were only able to collect one win out of 12 games last season. We introduced a new format last season, and you know, apparently we just didn't take very well to it. We allowed Ubers in, and the Ubers could just, you know, come in and sweep you immediately if you weren't careful. Um, and with 11 losses, apparently I was not careful. But this season, we are back to the traditional GBA format. Um, and with that, we have a little bit more experience with. Um, a little bit more experience with drafting, a little bit more experience with team building. Um... So, I feel a little bit more confident that this season is going to be a lot stronger for us. Last season was our weakest season uh, by far, but we do have more talent that is entering the, the APA every season. So, I, you know, if I don't continue to get better, I'm going to, to, I'm going to continue to have seasons uh, like season four. This, uh, this battle right here is going to be with Coach L. Grab, the coach of the New Zealand Zoroarks. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool name there. Always a fan of Zoroark. Uh, don't know much about El Grab. He came in the beginning of the uh, the season, you know, just a couple weeks ago, uh, and took over for Stax, the coach of the LA Mold Breakers. And um, I've never seen him battle before. I don't know how he battles. Um, I've heard that he's, you know, he's a good battler. So there's that. That that worries me. But, um, you know, we have a good team. He has a good team as well. He has that, that, that Swampert's going to be a little bit bulky. He's got that Powerhouse Mega Pinsir. He's got that Wall Gligar, that Setup Monster Manaphy, another Setup Demon and Dragonite, and another Wall with Lick Licky that Wish Support's going to be, uh, it's going to be hard to break. Um, I don't have a lot of answers from, for some of his mons. I don't have an, a real answer for Swampert. I don't have a real answer for Lick Licky. I don't have any fighting coverage, which is going to become an issue as the game progresses. So let's go ahead and jump into the battle and we'll go through uh, and exactly see how this goes. I'm thinking immediately I need to get up my rocks. Um, my rocks are going to make it a big problem for him to use that Mega Pinsir. Uh, to continue to switch it in and out, to switch it in and out, is going to be, um, with rocks up, almost an impossible thing to do. So, I lead with my Rhydon, he leads with his Swampert. Immediately, I'm forced out here. Cannot take a Scald uh, with Rhydon. It will immediately just destroy my life. So, I switch out. I go into uh, Mega Pidgeot here. I know the rocks are coming from this thing. So, I'm thinking, okay... Rocks come in, Pidgeot doesn't take any damage. Uh, what I should do here is Hurricane for, for big damage, but instead, I go for the U-turn. Um, he switches out. I get the U-turn off on Lick Licky. It does maybe 10%. Um, it's damage, yeah, but this Lick Licky is gonna continue just to wish and wish and wish. Uh, uh, 10, 10%, it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a lot more than that. I go back into Rhydon. Rhydon at this point, I guess it's kind of my switch in for Lick Licky because Lick Licky can't really hurt me that much. Um, I get my rocks up, which is really, really great. Um, so now Mega Pinsir is going to have a have a hard time coming in. Um, you know, when he comes in the first time, he takes 25%. If he Mega Evolves any other time he comes in after that, he's going to take 50%. It really um, makes Mega Pinsir a lot less viable. So here's the Swampert. Um, I'm going back into Mega Pidgeot here. I don't think he's going to carry any ice coverage. I see that he has the Roar. He's going to try to gradually just wear down my team with these rocks um <clears throat> so with with roger rabbit the diggersby out i do know that i have to get out of here i do know i'm gonna be faster because i have to scar from diggersby uh so i'm just gonna u-turn out again u-turn does about 20 uh 20 percent not terrible not terrible now at this point i'm expecting the scald so i go into volcanian here get all my health back from that rock damage which is nice at this point, I'm free to do a couple of things. I can predict him to go into something else. I can predict him to go into Lick Licky, or um, you know, if he's expecting a steam eruption, he might go into uh, maybe Dragonite, or uh, probably wouldn't go into Dragonite, I don't think, but he does have that resistance to Dragonite. Uh, could go into Manaphy, um, but really, 
at, at this point, I should have known that he was not going to stay in. I should have known that he was going to switch out because the steam eruption is going to do a tremendous amount. And there's a possibility that I'm carrying Hidden Power Grass, which I am doing. So he does switch out. He does go into Lick Licky. I really, really should not have showed that I had Hidden Power right here. Uh, hidden Power Grass. Um, but I do. I show him that I have it. It does a measly 20%. Lick Licky is now going to be able to get a wish up, uh, which is unfortunate. At this point, I should have just went for a steam eruption, hope for a burn. The burn after the steam eruption did have a possibility of, of killing this Lick Licky um, before the wish came in. Um, but instead, I did decide to switch out, which is uh, pretty unfortunate. But I did decide to go back into Ride Dawn. He gets his wish up. Um, I, re I really hate that I didn't take that opportunity. So immediately, I. I'm forced back out. I did a swords dance, and what I wanted to happen here is, was I wanted him to stay in with Lick Licky, and I wanted him to try to like you know just lower my health a little bit, maybe try to play around with Rhydon a little bit. Um, so I was really really hoping to get that swords dance up and just knock out Lick Licky, but he does bring in his Swampert to scare me out. Immediately he does get that 20% back um, from the from the wish. And at this point, I don't feel really that comfortable sending anything in to, to take a possible Earthquake or, or Scald. So I do have to let Rhydon go down, and that is really, really unfortunate. Um, so now I send out Pompeii. Pompeii takes out rock damage 24%, down to 76% now. Uh, and at this point, I'm thinking, okay, he's going to switch again. He's going to switch right back in that Lick Licky, and this time I'm going to Steam Eruption. But I missed the steam eruption. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate that I missed the steam eruption. Uh, it wouldn't have killed Swampert, but it would have done a, a great deal of damage. It would have done a great deal of damage. Um, so that that's kind of unfortunate there. And he's able to go back back with an earthquake, leave me at 6%. Now at this point, what I could have done is if I would hit that steam eruption, I, I could have I could have two hit kill him. Obviously the earthquake wasn't gonna kill me. I could have came right back around. He, he could have switched out. I'm not sure if he would have or not. But, you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. I missed the steam eruption. Uh, this one does 27% the steam eruption. Um, so, it's really unfortunate that that happened. Uh, at this point, he roars me. And Volcanion becomes useless except for Cannon Folder. Unless I get Pidgeot in and defog those rocks away. So in the back of my mind here, I'm thinking, I'm going back and forth, back and forth about defogging these rocks. Um, the only reason I wouldn't do that is simply because if I defog, I defog his rocks away. And therefore, the Dragonite is a lot more viable. It keeps its multi-skill upon entering the battle. Uh, his pincer is not threatened anymore. It can come in and out as much as it wants because I cannot set those rocks back up because earlier I lost the, the my Rhydon to, to Swampert. So you know, right now it, it's, it's it's pretty scary. Uh, I'm down. I'm down my ride on. So ride on's gone, um, and <clears throat> I really, really, really hate that. So I know that I can't hit him with a thunderbolt or bolt switch. Obviously, he's immune to that. Uh, I am carrying shadow ball, and I'm thinking, okay, shadow ball has a chance to kill, but it doesn't. At least on two percent, and he roars. Thank goodness he doesn't go for the earthquake there. Uh, that would have been pretty awful. Um, the roar brings in Sharpedo, and Sharpedo is actually able to to knock out the uh, the Swampert with a waterfall. Um, so that is that's really great. So no more Swampert that I have to deal with. Um, I wish I still have my Rhydon around, but unfortunately I don't. Um, I cannot kill this Lick Licky with Sharpedo, so I switch out. Looking back, I don't know. Maybe I should have. Played around a little bit with the Lick Licky with Sharpedo, but Sharpedo is so fragile. Um, you know, two body slams are probably going to knock me out, and I really, really wanted to keep Sharpedo in the back just in case I could have a possible sweep with him later on. So now I have Riku out. Uh, this Lick Licky is going to wish. I cannot do anything. I cannot Oko this thing. I don't have anything to Oko Lick Licky, uh, which is really unfortunate. I do get lucky here. He wishes. He. Um, he gets rid of, he uh, actually switches out into his uh, Dragonite. He's thinking, okay, uh, he's going to hit me with a, a 
Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch, it's going to take me down to, you know, maybe 40, maybe 30 percent, uh, maybe a little bit lower than that. But then I'm going to get my wish back uh, and then I can set up with Dragonite. But unfortunately for him, I did get a crit on this Volt Switch here and kind of eliminated all those plans for him. Uh, it was great for me. I really felt excited about that. Uh, still a lot of threats left, but I have got rid of Swampert and I have got rid of Dragonite. So that, that's that's pretty huge on my part. I've gotten rid of uh, a bulky guy and I've gotten rid of a, a setup monster. Now I bring in uh, Pidgeot. I'm thinking, okay, uh, do I, I'm thinking here, do I defog? Do I roost? Uh, I go for the roost because uh, I'm still thinking whether or not I should defog. Um, <coughs> because that Mega Pinsir, if, if I don't have some damage on it, it's going to be an issue. It's it's fragile, but having the, just even that 25% when it comes in initially, it's going to be huge. I do go ahead and just decide, okay, I'm going, I'm going to defog because I need my Pidgeot to be viable. I need my Volcanion to come back in and get some major damage off on some stuff. Uh, unfortunately here, Hurricanes just weren't doing anything and I couldn't get a confusion. Um, and then he actually wishes. I'm thinking, okay, let's go for one more Hurricane and see what happens. Uh, I didn't get the confusion again. He goes for the Body Slam and I get paralyzed. Um, so that is really, really unfortunate for me. Um, I mean, it's a 30% chance. So I knew I was, I was gambling there. I was just hoping I wouldn't. Um, and at this point, I'm thinking, eh, maybe I still outspeed this thing. I very, very, very seriously doubt it. If this was using Generation 7 mechanics where it only lowers it by 50% instead of uh, like 66%, I would have a chance. Um, but I, I do not end up outspeeding this thing. It uses Body Slam and it wipes out my Mega Pidgeot, which is um, it, it's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate for me. Um, but... Lick Licky is uh, proving himself to be a, a real monster right now. Uh, he goes for the Protect. So I'm trying to see what I'm trying to do. I go for the Steam Eruption, trying to get a burn, trying to get something on this Lick Licky. Um, and then I switch out. I probably should have just went for another Steam Eruption there, but I'm thinking, you know what? If I can hit Lick Licky twice with a Thunderbolt, I'm going to be okay. I ended up actually just predicting that that Gligar was going to come in. Um, or not predicting, I'm sorry, I didn't predict it. Uh, I saw it come in, and I, I wanted to try to surprise him with a Hidden Power Ice, which I did. Um, or, or maybe I didn't. I, I don't really know what he was thinking there, because Reiku does typically carry Hidden Power Ice. Um, I'm not sure why he just decided to to let his um, his Gligar go down. Um, but, you know, kind of looking back at it, if he does bring in his Pinsir, Pinsir is going to hit take that Thunderbolt. Not, not great. It's going to... It's going to do quite a bit of damage. Lick Licky, if he brings him in, I can I can go back and hit him again with a Thunderbolt and, and kill him before he can get another Wish off. Uh, obviously, Manaphy is going to not like a Thunderbolt. So, you know, probably second to Gligar was, was the best thing for him. Um, so let's go ahead and get Gligar off the, uh, the layout here. <clears throat> so we're looking okay. It's four on three right now. I'm, I'm, I'm winning. Uh, I'm feeling okay. You know, I do have my Volcanium, which has taken pretty much all his health. Uh, and this guy right here is just continuing to wish up and becoming more and more of an issue. Uh, so that's really, really unfortunate. I go for an overheat here, and I, I don't know why. Uh, because it's going to lower my special attack, so just in case he was to switch or something, um, my next attack would do basically nothing. I should have did a Steam Eruption, hope for the burn. Uh, I, I don't know if it would have killed him or not with the burn. I think it would have took him down to like 20, 25 percent, 20 something percent. So I don't think the burn would have killed. Um, but it is a burn. It does make his body slams uh, less viable. Um, and that helps Sharpedo go against uh, Lick Licky a little bit better because of just how fragile he is. But I did make a pretty big misplay there and lose my Volcanion to a body slam. Um, which really really sucks and he gets his wish back and he's still almost at full health um, I do have Diggersby here Diggersby is going to be able to get a return off But you know look at the return. It, it does it does 50% 50% And he's able to wish 
uh, and then he switches out and he goes into his pincer. Return does a tremendous amount to the pincer, but the witch comes in and completely restores him. And at this point, I'm very, very frustrated with this Lick Licky. Uh, it just continues to repair his team. Um, and now I'm going to have to return this thing and lose my Diggersby to a return from from the pincer. Um, I, I thought, eh, maybe maybe I can live on like one or something, but no, it was, there wasn't a chance. There wasn't a chance. So Riku is able to come in and revenge kill this pincer with a thunderbolt. I take a quick attack, does 27%. Um, which is, you know, it's unfortunate. I needed that, that little bit of health, but it just wasn't going to happen. Um, the Thunderbolt comes off here, takes another 13%. At this point, it's, it's two on two. Okay. So let me go ahead and get this update dated on the layout. <clears throat> I've lost my Volcanian. I've lost my Diggersby. Um, he's lost his Mega, uh, yeah, Mega Pincer and it's down two to two. And honestly, it's, it's really not looking that great for me. It's really not looking that great. Uh, what I'm hoping here for, I know with the wishes coming in, I cannot kill this Lick Licky. What I have to have happen is to get a paralysis on these Thunderbolts. He's going to continue to protect Wish, um, which really, really, really sucks. Um, <clears throat> so I'm trying, I'm trying to get that para. And I'm just not having any luck. I really wish I was Leftovers Calm Mind at this point because I, I would have won. I would have won with Leftovers Calm Mind. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't bring that set. I brought Choice Specs. Um, do get the Para finally. I do get the Para. Uh, so now I'm hoping, okay, I've got to get this thing fully paired. It's got to be fully paired for me to have a chance. He gets a crit though. So I get the Para, but he gets the crit. And then he gets his wish back. So, you know, it's, it's 85%. 85%. So now, what I'm hoping, okay, Waterfall has a chance for a flinch. Let's try to pair a flinch this Lick, uh, Lick Licky and, and see what we can do. Maybe we can have a good enough shot. Maybe we can crit this Manaphy at the end. You know, I'm just playing all these scenarios in my head on how I can win. It's not looking good. I know my chances are extremely low. But... I believe, yep, we get a uh, flinch here, and I think something else happens, or maybe I just knock him out here. So he gets fully paired, uh, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> so now that Lick Licky is gone, Lick Licky is officially <laughs> out of the game. It took long enough to do it, but he's finally gone, and it is, <clears throat> it is, uh, update this it is one-on-one -on -one and I know it's gonna have to be some kind of super crit to win my calcs did say like crunch did like 60 to 65 percent but even the crit I mean it's just gonna not be enough he ends up being I guess a little bit more defensively invested and the skull takes me out so unfortunately we do lose our first game of the season 1-0 to L grab and the New Zealand Zoroarks uh, that's really really unfortunate for us but it was a great game a great way to start off the season for for L grab and you know I, I'm not too disappointed on how I played there's a few misplays that I made don't know how much of a difference they would have they would have made but you know it, it is what it is I can't do anything about it now we're gonna start this season off go at uh, zero and one I do know that our schedule is tough this season but I, I do think we can do okay. I do think that our record's going to um, be much better than last season. Uh, by at least a few wins. We just got to keep concentrating. We got to keep prepping. We got to continue to do our research. There's nothing in this battle that really took me by surprise. Except for how um, viable Lick Licky is. Uh, with that wish support. It's very, very frustrating. Uh Huge congratulations to Elgrab on his first victory in the APA and on Season 5. He will start his season out 1-0. Uh, next week we go against Banded Caterpie, who has become kind of our rival in the APA. Uh, we've played him, I think, every season for the last three seasons. And I think I'm like I think I'm like 1-2 against them or something like that. So hopefully we can play for... Uh, to tie that record up next week uh, he has a very very threatening team he always does in 
you know, he, he won the last two seasons. So it's not going to be an easy match. I can definitely see us uh, starting off at 0-2 and two at this point. But we're going to play really hard. We're going to prep really hard. Uh, I'm going to get some suggestions from some other people uh, and see if we can get a win next week. It would be super, super, super important for us to get a win next week. But all right, guys, until week two, I will see you all next time. Congratulations again to Lgrab. Leave a like in the just uh, leave a like below and leave me some comments. I like to read comments. Um, you know whether it's criticism on different things I could have done uh, to maybe get the W, or uh, you know maybe it's just talking about my team, the team I brought. But um, yeah, just, just let me know below. I, I like reading comments, so I, I'm really intrigued to see what you thought about the battle. Anyway, guys, I will see you next week. Peace.